what are the important findings and diagnosis first beat in the rhythm strip is a sinus beat and so is the fourth beat as well as the last beat with upright p waves and a normal pr interval second third fifth sixth and seventh beats have inverted p waves with a shorter pr interval these beats have inverted p waves in other inferior leads as well as v4 v6 these p waves are possibly originating from the left atrium left atrial rhythm in addition there is prolongation of qt interval note the wide and splay t wave in avr and biphasic t waves in anterior leads giving a suggestion of valence syndrome valence syndrome is indicative of tight stenosis of proximal left anterior descending coronary artery lateral leads show q waves qrs axis is a bit leftward suggesting left anterior hemi block original description of valence syndrome was by d swan z valence at j et al in 1982 in a paper published in american heart journal 12 of the 16 75% in the group who were not operated on developed an extensive anterior wall myocardial infarction within a few weeks so they suggested urgent coronary angiography and if possible coronary revascularization in unstable angina patients having these type of ecg changes it has also been called lad coronary syndrome or widow maker types a and b of valence syndrome has been described type a has biphasic t wave in v2 and v3 while type b has t inversion in these leads going by this classification the ecg illustrated belongs to type a valence syndrome